Do you know you can completely rebrand a whole PowerPoint presentation in just a few minutes? I'm talking changing colors, logo, style of all the pages in your presentation with just a few clicks. As a McKinsey consultant, I made thousands of pages, so I'm so excited to share everything I learned with you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this template to this using the Slide Master in PowerPoint. I'm going to start with my free template pack that you can download using the link in the comments. In this video, we will change the color scheme, change the logos, edit the cover page, and create a new page in the Slide Master. Let's start by opening up a deck we want to rebrand. So I'm going to talk you through this rebranding really slowly, but once you know all of the steps, you can do it much faster and you can rebrand a whole presentation very quickly. So here is the presentation I want to rebrand. And you can see right here that it's this, these various shades of uh, greens kind of turquoises. So I want to change the, the color scheme and I'm also going to change this logo right here. So one might think, you know, why can't you just select it and delete it? And so you'll see here when I'm trying to select this logo, um, it doesn't want to select. And that's because it's part of the slide master, not part of the normal view of, a sl of the slides. So this we will change in the slide master. If I go here to this page, um, let's talk a little bit about the theme colors that we're going to change. So I've selected this really dark green box. And when I go to shape full, you can see the theme colors of this whole presentation at the top right here. And you can see by the box up here at the top that's kind of highlighted that the color of the box on my slide is pulling from the fifth block in this color palette. So when we go into the Slide Master and change our theme colors of our presentation, whatever color ends up in this fifth box, that is the color that this box on the page will change to. The theme colors up here at the top also automatically will develop this gradient palette at the bottom here. And so anything in our slide presentation that pulls from one of these gradients will also change color to the new gradient color after we change the colors up at the top. What won't change color are things like this, which I've colored this red color. If I click on this and go to shape full, you will see that this is pulling from a template outside of our theme colors. It's this red color and it's not part of our template. So when we change our theme colors, this red circle will not change. So just keep an eye on that. Another thing I wanted to demonstrate right here is if I go to new slide and I want to add a new slide and I click on this, you will see some default slide templates up here. Now these templates are built in the slide master and we will um, edit these today and even add a new one. If you have a very uh, common slide layout that you use very often, you'd want to put it in your slide master so you can easily keep adding it to your presentations. So as an example, I will just add the slide template and you can see it pulls in right here. Let's take one last look at this template in the slide sorter view before we open up our slide master. So to do that, I'm going to click on view slide master and this is our slide master and you can see here are those five templates that opened up when I clicked on new slide to add a new slide. So let's change the color scheme first. I would like to change the color scheme from this greenish blue template at the top to this blue theme at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is just copy and paste it onto one of my slide master pages. Then I'm going to go up here to colors and 
customize colors. And what I'm going to do is change all of the, the colors that I want changed up here to, to the ones that I have selected down here at the bottom. And there's a few ways to do this. One is with hex codes. So I'll show you that first. I'm going to click on accent one. And here, right here, I can see my hex code and I'm going to put in the new hex code, which is this darker blue color down here. So that's 003B73. And I click, um, so that's, and then I, I'm gonna actually copy this because there's one more instance of it up here, which is in the text. Okay, so those two very dark, dark greens have now been made into a blue color. Then for the rest of them, I'm going to use another method, which is instead of using hex codes or the RGB uh, values, I'm going to use this eyedropper tool, which is why I copied and pasted my color palette into the slide master. So I click on that eyedropper and now I can just drag it over the color and grab that shade. So I'm going to do that with the rest of the accents like that and then everything else in this template stays the same so now i'm going to go save and now you will see that our color scheme has been completely changed from green to blue i'm also going to delete that palette that i pasted in um, because we don't need that now let's take a click through our slide master and you'll see it's been rebranded beautifully. If I close my slide master, look at our presentation. It's now this beautiful blue. Next, I'm going to want to change the logos. So I'm opening slide master again by selecting view and slide master. And right here, wherever I see the old logo, I'm going to replace it with the new logo. Um, and so the logos that I've selected um, is this very generic business systems logo at the bottom. Okay, so one way to do it is to right click wherever you see a logo and select change picture and then go from file and I'm going to select my logo here and I insert it and it's replaced. So I'll do the same here, just change picture from file and I have a dark version of it that I'll place right there. So I'm just going to keep doing that repeatedly for all the other logos in this presentation. All right. And another way to do this is if you have the logo, you can copy it. And I just use Control C and I'm gonna delete it here and then go Control V and delete control V, oh, that was over here, and that's it. Now, if we go back and we close the slide master and we're back to our slide sort of view and we look throughout this whole presentation, you'll see all the logos have been changed. Excellent. You'll also see here that when we changed our color scheme, this red circle, as we expected, um, didn't change color. So I'm going to select it and change it back to a part of the theme colors. And you can see our theme colors up here, are these beautiful shades of blue now. Okay, next up, I would like to rebrand this cover page. So I want to add some pictures to it and I'd like to remove one of these triangles on the, on the side. So I'm going to go down to pictures page here and I want to select some um, pictures that I like that I want to be on my cover page. So I'm going to take three pictures. Let's do 
copy these three. I'm going to copy them. Now I'm going to open my Slide Master once more. So view, Slide Master, and I'm back in. Now I'm going to this cover page, the light cover page. I'm going to delete the top triangle and I'm going to paste in these pictures. I want these pictures to be round, so I'm going to picture format. I'm going to click on the crop arrow. I'm going crop to shape. I'm selecting a, a round, just a circle. So now you can see all of our pictures are round. And I want to put a border in, so I'm going here to picture border. I'm going to go weight. I'm going to choose the thickest border. And it um, is this beautiful blue color, very dark blue color. Now I'm going to move these around and position them how I'd like. So let's do these two. And then I'm going to put this one here and I'd like to make it bigger. So I'm going to drag it out like that. Excellent. And now I'm going to copy them all and put them onto a darker page like that. And I'm going to delete that triangle. And then also let's change the color of these so that they're lighter for this, uh, for this darker template. So picture border, let's make it this lighter blue. Excellent. Now let's take a look at our normal view. So I'm going to close Slide Master, take us all the way back to the top and look what's happened to our beautiful cover page up top. If I go to new slide, because I decide I don't want a dark cover page, but rather a light one, I'm going to just select light and it adds in the light version of our cover page. The last thing I want to show you how to do is how to add another template slide to your slide master so that when you click on new slide up here, um, you get another uh, slide type that you can use. So let's go back to our slide master view, slide master, and I'm just going to copy one of these pages so that we can work through that. And I would like this page to be a quotes page. I run a lot of workshops and I very often like to use famous quotes. So my quotes page, just gonna start from a blank slate. I want to add in a box. So I'm going to shapes and I'm just going to draw a dark box down here. And then I'm going to take a picture and copying it from one of our cover pages and I'll paste it right here. And I want to add something for text at the top. So I'm going to go to insert placeholder and select text. And then I'm just going to draw that here and I'm going to delete this all and write the instructions, insert quote here. And I want the quote to be um, in italics. So I'll go to home and I'll select italics. And I want it to be very large font. All right, I'm going to do one more thing just because it's bugging me. I go to home. I would like this text to be at the bottom and close to the line. So I'm going to bottom align it like that and I'm gonna move it closer. All right, so let's take a look at what this looks like in our slide presentation. So here we are and I want to add a quotes page. So I'm going new slide and right here we have a, a quotes page we just created. It says insert quote here. As soon as I click on that, this will disappear and I can write in a quote. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so. We covered a lot today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found anything in this video useful, 
please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, download your copy of my favorite slide templates below. Be sure to watch my video on 90% of the slides you will ever make and how to make them next. Happy slide making and see you in the next video.